All right, so the first thing that I see on this one is you got to determine what they're asking for. And there's two types of problems here. They might be asking for arc BC. Um, and if they were to put in like another point here, and I don't know, we could call it like D. And if they asked for arc B, DC, that would be something totally different. So let me explain what that means. So if they ask for arc BC, you have to go the short way because it's only two letters. But if they ask for BDC, then you need to go the long way. Now, obviously, they didn't put that point in there, so you know that they're going to only ask for the short way, but I'm just showing you the difference of the two things, right? So if they ask if they ask for it with three letters, they want you to go the long way. If they ask for it with two letters, they want you to go the short way. So the way you could solve this, if you don't know already, is you know that a circle, all of them have to add up to 360 degrees. So you could just say that 20y minus 11 plus 4y plus 6 plus 7y minus 7 has to add up to 360 degrees. And so then it's a pretty simple equation from there. Your like terms, you just add those all together. So 20 plus 4 plus 7 is 31y and negative 11, positive 6, and negative 7. Negative 11 and negative 7 makes negative 18 and then positive 6 makes negative 12. We've got a pretty easy equation here. We're going to add side, uh, add 12 to both sides. And so that's 372 equals 31y. We need to divide both sides by 31, which if you plug in your calculator, you should get that y equals 12. Okay, so now it depends on what they're asking again. So if they're asking for just BC, then you want to plug in 12 to these two y's and add them together. If they were asking for something like BDC, which I, you know, I had to draw in here, and that tells you they're asking for the bigger one. And then you would have to uh, plug into this one. Or like another example they could ask for is like, what if they asked for, um, uh, let's say, A, C, B. Okay. Specific order means that you'd have to go like this. You have to start at A, go to C, and then go all the way to B. My son's throwing his toys. And so that's how you know what it is that they're asking for. So that's how you know what to plug in. All right. Next one. This problem right here is one where it's asking about um, the central angle. And just so you can tell how I can tell what it's asking for, what I need to use. I have central angle, I have the circumference, and I have arc length. Well, all those things together tell me that I need to use the um, formula for arc length, which I gave you guys early on in chapter 10. And that formula looks like this. <laughs> it looks like this. If you're in degrees, which we are the arc length, which we could use an S for, and the circumference formula is two pi R, or you can just replace that with whatever the circumference is. So it looks like here they wanna know the central angle, so we wanna know what theta is. So we don't know what that is, that's gonna stay our variable. But we do know what the arc length is. Look, they showed us that the arc length is one third. So I can plug that in up here as one third. And they also told me what the circumference is. Circumference, oops, let's use the highlighter. I meant to use the highlighter. The circumference is six, that's this whole distance around. That's this part. So since they told me what that is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a six here. All right, so now we have a pretty easy proportion equation to do here. Um, the only thing that's kind of weird is that we have this this one third over a six. So I want you to think of that as like one third divided by six. And that's kind of like divided by six over one. And I told you guys that when you're dividing again, you could just kind of move the six on the bottom. You could just do that. Because if you think about it, that's the same thing as taking six over one and flipping it and multiplying it to be one six. So now you can rewrite this equation as theta over 360 equals one over three times six is 18. Well, now if you just were to multiply both sides by 360, you'd get that theta equals 360 over 18. And 360 over 18 is 20. So that means the central angle is 20 degrees. And we know that from this formula. Because they gave us all the other parts that we need for that formula, so we just plugged in what they gave us and solved for the missing part. All there is to that one. And again, the reason I knew that was a formula to use is I used all those words that I know that that's, this formula uses. It uses the word circumference, which this formula has. 
uses the word arc length, which is a really big red flag because this is the arc length formula, and that's where the arc length goes. And uses central angle, which is what that value is. So that, that's what it is. Now, if this was in radians, it'd be a little bit different. Um, in radians, you remember, if it was in radians, the formula was where we did this thing. Or you could think of the formula as theta equals s over r. Okay, that's all there is to it. See you in the next one.